Delegates of this inaugural XNSA policy conference, it is an incredible privilege for me to stand before the fastest growing, the most diverse political party in South Africa. I am humbled by the speed at which we are building a rational and reasonable political home for all South Africans across the nine provinces of our country. Two weeks ago, Action SA, 10, three years old, on the day we launched in the midst of a global pandemic, you could have said the members of XNSA around this main table here behind me, as Michael has already indicated. In just three years later, I stand before you, the more than 600 delegates, we have traveled from each of the nine provinces to an XNSA policy conference, who represent just a fraction of our diverse membership. You have come to represent every one of the 52 districts and eight metros of our country where Action, Action SA has taken root. We come together, South Africans, who love their country, hate what has been done to it. And we are here, united, to find the solutions that are needed for the citizens of our country. I am humbled by your love of our country. I am moved by your commitment to our party. And I'm inspired by your belief that we can fix South Africa. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, delegates of this uh, policy conference, we come together at a time in which South Africans need hope. As South Africans, we do not need political parties to tell us what is wrong with our country. We all live with these challenges on a daily basis and know very well what's wrong with them. Today, we meet not to dwell on challenges, but to deliberate on the plans and solutions required to fix South Africa and build an inclusive and prosperous nation. It is this message of hope that you and thousands of other actioners throughout the country have gone door to door in communities across our beautiful country to share with the countless South Africans who are seeking a brighter future for our nation. It is in that spirit that today I want to share with all South Africans why my story and why I believe this policy sets Action SA apart. I was born and raised in a rural village called Haramozi in Amanskral in the north of Pretoria. My mother was a domestic worker in Johannesburg, and my father decided to die when I was just two years old. <laughs> I was raised in a tea shack in a child-headed household, raised by my sisters, the elders being 13 years my senior, and I knew the pains of hunger. In my second year of study, in 1980 at the University of the North, what is called University of Filimpopo today, the army surrounded the campus and gave us students six hours to leave campus. I never went back. I remember hating the control over my life the notion that my success or failure would be determined by others. I made this decision to go into business, studying as a commission sales rep in 1982, which resulted in conceiving the idea of starting my own manufacturing hacker business. This idea gave birth to Black Like Me in 1985 in Harangua Industrial Area. I went into business with two people who have had a profound impact on my life. The first was Connie, my partner in business and life for over 44 years now. Without whom 
without whom I would not be the man I am here standing before you today. And I would like her to stand if uh, she is somewhere around. My second partner was a white Africaner from Boxbeck by the name of, jo of Johan Krill. I don't know why perhaps we're here in, in uh, Boxbeck. <laughs> here, Johan was the chemist who made our product. Johan and I overcame the, oma the enormous gap between white and blacks in the 1980s. It was here that I learned of the power of work to bring people together through a mutual desire to better their lives, even at a time when such an idea was inconceivable. Black Like Me grew to be one of the most successful hair care brands in Southern Africa, giving hundreds of people the dignity of work right in the townships of Pretoria during the height of apartheid. Make no mistake, I know that my story is an exception, but in a country with people as innovative and hardworking as South Africans, it should not have to be. Above everything else, I entered politics and ultimately started Action SA because I want to build a nation with achievement of success. However people chose to define that, is possible for all South Africans. Action SA, Ones to build South Africa, where government does not stand in the way of prosperity, but it's an active participant in creating it. We want our young people to develop the skills they need to follow their dreams. We want communities to be protected from criminals. We want the South Africa where the lights stay on we want a South Africa where government takes care of own, its own people. Ladies and gentlemen, South Africans and actioners, there can be no doubt that we come together at a time in which South Africans are facing tremendous difficulties because of their government. As we approach the 2024 elections, we shall mark 30 years of democracy in South Africa. Our society not only faces the legacy of apartheid, but the perpetuation of that legacy by an uncaring and corrupt government. <laughs> Action SA is also not going to waste time apportioning blame for the predicament in which we find ourselves as a country. South Africans know who has governed them for the past 29 years which has seen unemployment reach all-time highs, stage six load shedding becoming the norm, and our country became the most un unequal nation on earth. The focus of our policy conference will not only dwell on the causes of the challenges we face. Instead, Action SA will be forward-looking in our approach and set ourselves apart by focusing on the people of our country and the solutions that are needed to fix South Africa. Over the past three years, and particularly over the past eight months, we have engaged with a broad range of South African experts. It is for this reason that we assemble here for the next three days, and I can assure you, South Africans, that what will emerge from this conference is a clear, distinct alternative that will bring hope to so many who have given up. <laughs> Central to these outcomes must be a clear way forward to grow the South African economy and create jobs for our people. At the heart of this proposal is the need for economic certainty in policy direction and economic stimulus to move our economy forward, making it easier to hire more South Africans and altogether new approach to small businesses. But 
But a growing economy cannot grow to reflect our unjust le legacy. It must transform it. Action SA is unapologetic in our recognition of the continued correlation between race and access to opportunity and quality services in South Africa. 